My name is Darius, welcome to my channel. Today I'm testing Renault Zoe. This is the latest one, 50 kilowatts. And I've been fortunate enough to have this car for two days uh, to see what it's like. Okay, I have been driving a Nissan Leaf for five years, actually two Nissan Leafs. And I think it's time to upgrade. I will be testing the range, practicality, and I will be deciding which car I am going to pick. So, so far on my list is a Renault Zoe, Corsa E, Peugeot 208, and Mini Electric. So they are completely different cars, however, the range isn't the most important factor. However, when I sat in this Zoe, uh, I couldn't believe my eyes. The uh, gasometer was showing 226 miles, <laughs> Where, which is uh, wow, absolutely wow. I have been driving my 24 kilowatts uh, Leaf uh, and so far I am on 11 bars and my range vary between 60 and 80 miles so makes a huge difference okay the range I need is at least 100 miles so which car is going to be best for me also I will be buying it on PCP finance so I will be telling you comparing those cars and see which deal is going to be the best. I'm not looking to buy a brand new car. The budget is about 20K. So also, uh, I will be thinking of MG ZS EV, which I test drive last year, however, only for about 15 minutes. And to be honest, I was pretty impressed with that car. So, so far, so good. I'm really impressed with the build quality. It is slightly smaller car than Nissan Leaf, but to be honest, it's not a big deal. I will be driving to work by myself, uh, dropping kids to school every so often. Uh, we have another car, which is Mitsubishi Outlander plug-in hybrid, uh, which we need to, to tow a caravan. So, so far we cannot have two electric cars. There was a time when we had two Leafs, uh, but then later on we decided to buy a caravan and we had to replace one of the leaves for a, a different car. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed with the car so far. And I will let you know my thoughts um, to see what I like and things I don't like. But to be honest, there's not much thing I don't like. Uh, there are loads of things I'm really impressed with it. So I'll catch you soon. Okay, I have arrived to my destination and I'm pretty impressed. Wow, I've done 40 miles and I've got 196 miles left and 84% of the battery. That's insane. On my leave, that will be normally about 48%. Wow, I'm really blown away by the range. It's amazing. Like if I'm going to be driving like this, I can get like 220, 230 miles. And 70% of the journey was um, motorway, and I wasn't even trying to go economically. Let's have a look at the uh, consumption. So look, 4.4 kilowatts. That okay guys, I have just arrived home. And these are the figures. Now I did 80 miles, however, it says 78.7 uh, uh, because I reset the uh, the mileage uh, when I was on the motorway already, so it uh, should be 80. Uh, so that's pretty impressive. Like I've got 154 uh, miles left and 66% uh, remaining. So, wow. <laughs> I, I'm, I mean, I blow away. I've never expected uh, to get close to 200 miles, but actually. Uh, tomorrow I'll be going to work. I'm gonna drop kids to um, school tomorrow using this car. Uh, I'm gonna ask them what they're thinking about it. And uh, I will be driving mainly B roads tomorrow, so I believe the rain is gonna go up even more. And let's quick have a look at 
kilowatts per hour, so 4.4, and mainly motorway, you see, and I wasn't even trying to drive economically, I just drive as normal as I would normally drive in my Leaf, but there is a way of driving even more economically. So I believe I could get like close to 240 miles possibly. I mean, amazing, I'm so impressed, wow. And look inside, it feels really nice at night. You know, all the buttons. I have some things I don't really like, but I don't want to talk about it today. I will be talking about it at the end of the video, so make sure you watch till the end. And I'll see you tomorrow. So this is day one. Okay, day number two. So let me tell you about things uh, that I really like about this car. Now, this is the uh, top of the range. GT line, as far as I can remember. So there are some nice features here. Um, I quite like build quality, uh, the screen is brilliant, easy to uh, navigate stuff, all the layouts, uh, very simple to use, uh, so this is a nice point. The, uh, the blind spot, that is a really nice one, I didn't have this in my Nissan Leaf. Again, I don't know if I'll be going for the top of the range if I decide to, because I, again, as I said, I just want to keep the monthly payment as low as possible. Uh, and you know I don't really mind if there are some gadgets uh, as long as there's a Bluetooth and navigation I'm happy you know I don't need that extra bit also what I like about uh, is the range I mean the range is incredible I don't think uh, there is gonna be another car that is going to beat uh, the range so today, as I said, I will be doing 70 mile trip uh, and then at the end of the day, we're going to check the remaining range and the kilowatt per hour, which will be quite interesting. Yeah, I like the, uh, the B mode, great for slowing down and feeding the battery with some electricity. Visibility is great. I like the position. You sit quite high, so it's more like a, a SUV kind of type. So you can actually find uh, yourself a nice, uh, comfy position. The, you know, it's strange because you can't actually set it up uh, the seat. But to be honest, I managed to do it quite well, and it's comfortable. As I said, I did 80 miles, no issue whatsoever. Quite comfortable. Uh, of course, there is a wind because it, a car is quite high, so it doesn't handle wind very well. And then the steering wheel is not very responsive. So there is a bit of lose, that's how I feel. So, but other than that, happy days. Really impressed with it. I like the look. It is a smaller car than the Leaf, but it's not a big deal for me. Uh, it has decent size boots. I think it's about 330 liters, which is 30, uh, less than my Nissan Leaf so uh, all right for shopping whatever but again this is our second car so mainly we will be using our Mitsubishi Outlander uh, there is a there are some things that are quite annoying for me the first one is the noise that car makes uh, but it's a good thing that you can switch that off but I wish I could turn that off uh, good because every time you sit in the car it just makes that noise and I don't like that noise but it's a good job there is uh, there is a button so you can turn that off cup holders are very not practical this I don't know yeah you can't really see it so you need to take your eye off the roads in order to pick a drink so I wish it was a bit closer here I wish there was an armrest because I tend to use it a lot, but again, that's probably another thing that you might get used to it. I'm really looking forward to test and compare this car with Corsa E, Peugeot 208, MG ZS EV, uh, Mini Electric. Also, I, I might consider a um, Hyundai Ioniq with 38 kilowatt battery. Uh, I'm not sure about the look, but I'm still gonna test it uh, if the dealers let me so big uh, shout out to local dealer they actually let me have this car for uh, for two days so brilliant I did have a good experience a couple years back when I was 
uh, going to switch to Zoe a couple of years back. I had my first leaf back in 2015, 16. So I had it for a year and I was considering to buy a Zoe, but I've tried so many dealers and they wouldn't uh, let me test drive. Uh, they wouldn't let me have extended test drives so I could check the range, charging speed, etc. But this time it was straightforward, so I'm really pleased with that. I wish all the dealers were so happy and friendly. Oh, that's another good one. Okay, so I took my hands off the steering wheel and the car just reminded me, put your hands back on the wheel. Very clever. Also, there is a lane assistant, which is another nice feature, which I never had in any of my cars before. And that's it. Um, I will be seeing you on my way back to see the range and hopefully tomorrow morning uh, I will be able to take my kids. It'll be interesting to see what is their opinion about the car. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you later on. Cheers. Okay guys, uh, day two, really enjoy the... Um, just one more point about thing that I really like is uh, the performance. I mean, it's not a performance car, However, I don't really know what's the nil to 60 because I don't care. However, it feels quite nippy, so there is no problem when you uh, get up the junctions, uh, overtake cars. It feels like it's definitely under 10 seconds. Uh, again, I don't really care, but it's EV, so it's, you know, it's, it's fast. For me, it's fast enough. I'm not gonna be racing. Uh, for me, I need to get from A to B as quiet, as comfortable as possible. And to be honest, uh, Zoe does this perfect. Now, I am 50% battery, so I've done 114 miles, and I believe I can do another 114 miles. So. The range is beautiful. You're looking at 230 miles. And mainly I was using B roads, A roads, I mean A roads and an M6 so far. So uh, I believe in town this car is capable of 240, 50 miles. Uh, <laughs> this is mind blowing. This is a, a Tesla range, like crazy absolutely crazy so my battery is running low so i will be catching you tomorrow guys last day three. Oh, i nearly forgot there's one more thing that is quite annoying it's the windscreen wipers uh they feel really cheap and they don't really wipe that well too so this is another thing that i'm not really keen on but other than that happy days Prepare to turn right soon and continue to follow the A530. Okay, I will. Okay, so this is day three. Oh, I need to turn the voice, the sounds off because it's annoying me, as I said before. Okay, so this is day three. I am dropping my kids to school uh, and they're going to tell you if they like the car. Okay, Luca, how many points would you give to this car from zero to ten? Uh, ten. Ten. Do you really like it? Yeah. What's the best thing do you like? car. But what is it? A white car. You like the colour? Okay. Fabian, you next. I'll say six or five because they can improve it to make it bigger and as well there are some things that I don't like about it. What do you don't like about it? Um, the seat at different when when I got on it then it had a lump in it so I couldn't much Move my head okay. backwards. Fair enough. What else? Um, it's it is kind of tight. So it's smaller than the leaf. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. And and for me, it looks kind of harder to control okay. because there are more buttons. So it's okay, but it's not. It's actually easy to use. Once you get used to it, it's fine. But and it's and really tricky to start with. Yeah. And I like. Tablet. It's a nice screen, I know. It's yeah. big. Yeah. I like it. I like a tablet. I like I like a tablet. 
So yes, uh, that's it. I will be doing some more shopping today because I want to get the range up to 200 miles. So I'm 150 so far and I've still got 55 miles left. So I will see you later on. Thanks. So there are little things that I don't particularly like, but in, in general, I think this is a really great car. If I have to rank it from zero to 10, I think I would give it about seven, maybe seven and a half. But the biggest issue for me are the seats. I mean, not 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 such a big deal for myself, but I think for family and children, because look at this. I mean, this isn't very safe, is it? Like there's a huge gap there. So well, to put the bigger children uh, on a front seat, you shouldn't be doing it because they are sitting really leaning forward. So it's definitely not safe. Also, what I've noticed, if I would like to be playing some uh music or little videos when i'm driving the kids will not be able to see it because of the really white seats from uh, behind me so that's another thing worth considering uh also i like the uh, the music system it sounds really nice i believe this is the top of the range so it might be slightly different than the base models i don't know but really impressed and uh Yes, that was a really good time having the Zoe and follow my journey and see what car I'm going to pick. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you watch this, you're probably considering Zoe uh, yourself or maybe you have one. Please let me know in the comments below what is best a thing about the car that you like and maybe things that you don't really like. But again, that sound that is... Um, coming from the Zoe when you drive slowly it's actually making my headache I don't like it at all I know we can switch it off but it's it's really really annoying for me I don't like that <laughs> so that's the most annoying thing for me it's just that sound so now I can see side by side next to my Nissan Leaf and to be honest I thought it was gonna feel a lot smaller but it's not it is a tiny little different, but you can feel the difference inside. The outside, not a huge difference. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.